Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After Etc. and welcome back to another gardening project. So today I am planting two Bare Root Rose of Sharon's. So these are the Althea. I have one. I'll give you guys a close up right here. I purchased this one with the green leaves um, on top before I found the actual bush and I purchased this one from my nursery and so I decided I'd rather get the actual plants that will give me at least you know and plants green is years so this guy is definitely just further along he is going to grow bigger and taller quicker but you know he was also $45 as opposed to $6.99 so <laughs> Last year, I planted some non-invasive wisteria, and I had the exact same uh, kind of conundrum of I bought a bare root stick from Tractor Supply, and I was not even 100% convinced it would grow or live or thrive. I wasn't 100% convinced that I planted it in the ground, and it wasn't going to do zero, nothing, nada. But a year later, both plants are living, my stick from the tractor supply, and my bush that I found from the nursery. Now the bush is five times bigger than the stick was, but they are still growing, they are still living and thriving. The bush is just years ahead of the stick. And so, here is another experiment. I'm going to plant these two today. Um, I went back to Tractor Supply and I grabbed another one. Now obviously when you are looking through the uh, shelves at the Tractor Supply uh, or anywhere that has bare root plants, you are going to try to get the one like this that has leaves or signs of life. But this was the only one that had leaves. So for my second one, I chose one that had multiple stems. So hopefully that means we will have more growth options with this one. These particular plants are a five to nine for zones. They want full sun. They can get 10 to 12 feet high and six to seven feet apart. So if you watch my original video where I planted my Rose of Sharon and the two Texas sages, I am planting a little hedge right here. This is not gonna be a full garden bed with layers and layers of plants. The original plan was just to have these three plants, but I can never leave well enough alone. So I've now added two hydrangeas. And for my birthday, my mama got me these two rose standards, which are still not planted, but that'll be another video. So, you know, we may have just a, a bunch of bigger plants over here and that's fine too. So since these get six to seven feet wide, we are going to plant one up here at the top and one down there at the bottom and just extend our hedge a little bit and we're going to see how they do so this is an experiment to see the growth rate because i know with rose of sharon's my mom had one in texas years ago that she said died down to the ground every winter and then every summer it would come up to 10 feet tall die back down so if I plant these by the end of not this summer, but maybe next summer, are they on a growth rate with the same, the same as this little bush? Or is this little bush still going to be uh, leaps and bounds bigger than these until they reach maturity? I don't know. But when you're planting bare root plants, it's much the same as planting an actual plant. We're going to go ahead and dig a hole large enough for our roots so that we can put them in backfill we'll add some fertilizer and then we will keep these guys well watered until they start to grow and i will add them to our uh, drip so let me go ahead and get them placed and planted and this will be a pretty quick little uh, little video we'll have to keep you updated on how the experiment's going because i know it's going to be a while before we actually see a lot of growth on these definitely not today but before I finish the video I will walk you over and show you my wisteria plant versus my wisteria stick <laughs> and I just want to see you know with 
with the plants over at Tractor Supply being, you know, they have hydrangeas, they have raspberries, and they are great prices for $6.99 in a hydrangea versus $30. If I'm gonna plant a whole hedge of hydrangeas, maybe this is the way to go, but maybe not if I'm gonna have to wait seven, eight years for those plants to grow. This is my experiment. If you've planted these from Tractor Supply, let me know. I'd like to know your thoughts. All right, so this is very simple. I already went ahead and planted the one that looks like a stick. I'll show you where it ended up. But right here, we're going to plant this one. Dun, 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 dun. You go ahead and pop some uh, fertilizer in the hole. This is slow release fertilizer. I'm just gonna give it a handful since it's still a baby plant. And now when we take this guy out, he's just in a little bag. We wanna be very careful because his roots are very delicate. So I'm gonna start untying him. And now instead of trying to pull him out, I like to cut into the bag because you do not want to lose any roots. Perfect. Now there'll be quite a bit of dirt in here. And here is our entire plant. So you can see there is not much there, but it's enough. We're gonna use a mix of this dirt in our native soil. We want our roots to feel spread out. So put them in so that all the roots are under. And then backfill. All right, we're gonna water them in. We will give them some drip, but honestly, that is about it. And right now he looks like a stick, like a sticky stick. Like there's really not much to show that this is a plant and those are weeds. <laughs> so if you are the one taking care of your yard, and you know this is a plant and not a weed, you're good. If anyone else mows your yard or weeds it or does anything, make sure to tell them or put up markers because I've had my yard guy and my mom weed sticks that were actually plants. Now here's our actual plant and you can see the beautiful blooms. There we go. And this guy has only been in the ground for maybe a month and he has been blooming every day. I mean, most of the blooms are almost spent now. So he, I can only imagine when he gets 10, 12 feet tall, six feet wide, how beautiful he will be in this space. <sighs> We did go ahead and put our other one right here. If you thought the other one looked like nothing, this guy really looks like nothing. So, I mean, you may even want to put like a wire cloche over these guys for a little bit, but I'm going to water these in by hand. I am going to add them to my drip system, but uh, the drip is currently running. <laughs> water, water, water. Weeds, weeds, weeds. I swear I made compost and mulch, but in the meantime, so got them planted. I will give you guys a dedicated video to update these once they look like something. Of course, you will get updates in every single monthly uh, garden tour that I do, but it may be a while before they look like something like 
it may be next year. So I'm gonna take you over real quick, if I can walk without falling, and show you my wisteria stick. So right over here is where we just planted the Althea, and here are my two wisterias. So right here, this is the wisteria stick. The actual stick has grown quite thick, and he has had two or three canes come out near him and they are doing quite well. They have not bloomed yet, but I mean, you can see I rewired these like a month ago and there's already a long one. Wisteria, even the non-invasive kind is pretty quickly growing. So that's one season with the wisteria stick. Now, all of this growth up and around the tree, that is my wisteria plant that I planted last summer. If we come over here, so right here is the base of the plant. You can see how many canes it has. He did bloom beautifully for us this summer already. It's a spring blooming plant. So all up here we had beautiful purple blooms, but that is the difference between the plant and the stick. I'll put some footage up on the screen right now of when I planted that wisteria stick because I swear I, I didn't even think he was gonna grow at all. And obviously he did. So I'm very happy with him. He still hasn't bloomed. So I am happy that I did purchase the plant and maybe that is the, you know, the answer to do I buy one or the other is maybe I buy one plant and a few sticks and then you have blooms at least on one plant while you're waiting for the stick baby to grow up because it will probably take a couple years for the sticks to grow in and establish enough to give us blooms. So I will keep y'all updated. If you have ever grown um, a bare root plant like this from Tractor Supply, I mean, you can get bare root plants from lots of places, um, but Tractor Supply, at least in the South, are very easily accessible, and they have them all over lots of different varieties. So let me know what you think. Let me know if you've tried it, and if you're going to be hitting up your Tractor Supply for a stick of your own. I will see you in the next video. Bye.